Hey guys, this is Tara from My Artsy Mind, and I am here with a second uh, Frugal Friday, and I'm still making backgrounds. I think um, I'll be doing several different background ideas before we move on, uh, but this time I'm using um, magazine, magazine pages. So um, I have, here's an example of one. I had a bunch of them. I can't seem to find them since I've moved. Um, but I did this one real quick just to show you one idea. I haven't trimmed it yet. I'm actually using junk mail as my backing. And I have a bunch of pages that I tore out of magazines looking for just certain color schemes. So right now I'm working on a blue, uh, different shades of blue. And have a House Beautiful and an L magazine. These are all old. I think, um, oh yeah, this one was 2018. Um, so, and I'm just using regular old Elmer's school glue and a brush and an old uh, credit card, a uh, debit card to smooth things out. So I don't know if you can see on this one, this side is much smoother than this side. And um, I had forgotten when I had done this before that if I, smooth out each side as I go or each strip it comes out less wrinkly so I'm gonna put this aside and let it continue to dry and then we'll trim it down and I'm gonna grab another piece of junk mail or actually first we gotta do some ripping so I am gonna cover this glue and I need some more strips so I've got a few long strips I think this next one I'm gonna do maybe a little more irregular or just like squares and rectangles. So let's see, is that too? No, that's not. It's a little bit sticky, but not too bad. All right, so. Yeah, so this should be a, um, a real, uh, what's the word? Uh, inexpensive uh, option for building backgrounds. And at the same time, I'm also looking for um, any words that maybe I can use. I'll save that stuff aside. Um, for, uh, you know, other projects, things like that. So right now I'm just going for colors. They don't have to be perfect squares. Nice, that's actually a pretty color blue there too, isn't it? Maybe, let's see, yeah, I'll save these strips alongside. I think, let's see, there's nothing on that side? Yeah, I think I'll take out part of her sweater because it is definitely blue. So hopefully I will stay on screen. I know I'm not always the best at that. I hope I don't have a glare. So I'm a little late today doing it. I should have had this um, ready for you guys to see first thing this morning, but I forgot what day it was. <laughs> and uh, I, let's see, let's pull this one out. I uh, thought it was Thursday until about 10 o'clock this morning <laughs> and realized, nope, today is Friday and I am behind schedule. So, look at that, isn't that pretty? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go that way and that way. So I'm just gonna, like I said, tear out some some color blocks here. I may not do all of this on camera with you, but I want you to get the idea. So I'm gonna keep tearing out for now and we'll, we'll see what happens. So especially when I first started out, um, I used uh, magazines a lot for all kinds of things. I'd get um, images to fussy cut. I would uh, use it to make background pages, all kinds of stuff. Ooh, look at that long piece right there. Isn't that pretty? The big chill. Let's see. Let's go this way. And then I'll take out a few of these. I like that. I really like that color blue. Oops, there we go. So then once you have your background pages, I mean, you can use these for all kinds of things. The tag bases, um, let's see, tag bases, uh, covers for, for journals or notepads. 
or even just, you know, for the inserts for your pages. See, there's some pretty blues. Look at that skirt. <laughs> We're definitely going to get that blue. I like that. So let's do, let's do this. this. We'll clean this one up a little bit. So you can use scissors to cut these if you want. I just find it quicker and I don't mind the little bit of a frayed edge there by doing it this way. All right, we definitely want... That's great. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, there's a little bit right there too. Oh, I could take take some of that shirt too. I don't know what else I'd do using it for so I might as well take advantage right get as much out of it as I can it always ends up taking more uh, paper than I expect originally and these are some pretty blues it's awful bright but let's let's go for it I might keep some of this lettering too because it makes good uh, piece together words when you want to do something different Let's do some different sizes here. Hmm. Let's see what other blues. Ooh, there's some pretty sky blue. Let's grab that. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm even going to leave that little tree in there. Oops, that really wasn't perfect. That's all right. Throw it in. I think I might have enough. Ooh, I don't think I have anything quite that. Ooh, let's take the top of this, that light blue there, and then we'll see what we got, what we can work with. It should be enough to at least cover one piece of... Um, I hope. One piece of junk mail. If not, we'll cut more. Let's see. All right, so junk mail. Everybody gets junk mail, so some of these are like credit card offers and a letter from my family doctor's office. Um, so I'm going to leave the written side down. I'll cover that off screen just so no personal information accidentally gets uh, brought over, you know, exposed all right so oops i didn't put that in the water that should still be good all right so let me make sure i'm still on screen let's go this way it might work a little better let me get my little card out for scraping and i'll put these off here all right so am i yes i believe i am there we go okay so i think i i'm gonna start gosh i love that love it love it I'm going to start with that funky, funky skirt. So all I do, now this is um, Elmer's glue with just a touch of water in it. Um, I don't use a whole lot and I just kind of slather it on. I try to keep it thin uh, because it will squish out. And the more glue you have, the more wrinkles you're most likely to have. So keep it thin. Oops. There we go. And then so after you put this down... Take the time to just give it a little scrape. and you get all this ex excess glue, just wipe it on your page. You'll use it. But that'll help this dry a little, a little smoother. So it's funny. It's something as I got going with uh, creating these handmade journals and junk journals, you kind of forget about these techniques that you used to do. And until you meet somebody that uh, is like, well, I don't have all these tools and different things, or I'm on a budget, and I totally get it, because I was there, so I'm kind of glad to start doing this little Frugal Friday uh, bit, just because I think it'll help, um, and I'm hoping that uh, I have uh, some nieces and some 
things like that that might be watching and I know they don't always have a lot of dough so and besides I think this makes you more creative when you start thinking outside the box and coming up with other ways to create your artwork Oops, I definitely enjoy that I don't mind the wrinkles okay I think it makes us more creative definitely Here's that sequin top. Let's put that over here in this. Let's put that over here. Yeah, and the first ones that I did like this, I did over a year ago, and I still am using bits and pieces of it. Um, I had been, and the glue is holding just fine, so don't be worried about... Uh, the uh, Elmer's glue, it, it holds really well on pretty much everything, given the right time to, to dry. Like I said, using this little scraper or something like this to do to scrape the excess glue out really makes a difference. Ooh, a nice big piece. I want a big piece in there. Let's, let's break it down. put it up there so this isn't hugely exciting and I might jump ahead and pause as we go along but for now let's see how long it takes oops there we go there and yeah we got some gray blue Ooh, here's some of that dark blue mm. I'm gonna put this right at the bottom here Mm, I like that. That's that sweater that that model was wearing. Excellent. Ooh, here's part of that tree. Let's put you in there just like that. some of that oops it's kind of sticking to the paper Ooh, don't rip on me now come on all right that'll sorry right. that'll cover up once we get stuff on the front and the back let's see let's get some other colors over here i got that dark blue again the gray blue and remember i also have these strips it might be kind of fun to throw one in there hmm Because it will get covered up a little bit here and there. Let's just go ahead and do it. Have it overlap that one piece. Or two pieces. And then oh, bring it all the way to the edge. So right that to there. Those long pieces, sometimes it helps to... Pull it a little because the paper does stretch by the way it will definitely stretch on you uh -uh, i got that little white spot there but you know what i'll live with that maybe i'll do this piece here let's get this pulled back up come on no tearing here i got this mat down here but i thought it would be a non-sticky mat but everything wants to stick to it i might have to switch here soon if I keep having that problem. Oops. Hmm. That's a pretty gray blue. Let's put that in there. Pretty. 
Here's that dark blue. Oh, maybe I'll put this, put that dark blue up in the top corner here. Oops, move over guys. Yeah, let's put you up here. We'll get this corner covered. So I've been thinking what I'm going to do with this Frugal Friday is uh, kind of build slowly um, all the components that we will need to put together a journal. So that's why I think starting with the background pages is good. And then um, we can build from there. Let's go, yeah, let's go with this one. So I've got to give it a little thought where I want to go after the background pages. Woo. Probably because the background pages we can use for bases for tags. We can use them for uh, the covers, like I said before. So I think the next component would be... Um, different types of embellishments, other other ways to make embellishments. Other ways to do tags and, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll put that in this corner. Oops, come on. I definitely need something darker in here. Yeah, that'll co that'll cover it. I'm gonna span those two those two pieces. Perfect. I'm still on barely. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Hmm. Oh, I have a piece of this, and this one kind of got funky and ripped. So maybe I can slip that in there. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that works. Excellent. And then, dun, 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 dun. some of that gray blue. Yeah, let's put some of that down here. Cover up that little spot. Keep pulling this up. I think I'm definitely gonna have to switch what I'm using underneath. I've got some uh, uh, wax paper or kitchen paper over, so over in my uh, other area. So I might have to pause and do that. Well, let's get some more of this blue in here. This bright blue. This is pretty, and I don't have a lot of it in there. Will it go like that. Yeah, it'll go like that. Hmm. Oops, I didn't quite cover the bottom, but you know what? That's all right. We can always trim the paper down a little or add a little something to it, right? Ooh, you know what? I have some of this. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll take that right to the edge. It's a pretty, a pretty color. All right, we are coming into the home stretch here. Ooh, should I just go ahead and do it? Yeah, let's just do that. Get that whole big section done. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little careful with that because it is wanting to wrinkle. Go. Excellent. Let's see, I might put down this little piece because there is a little spot there that's open. How about I do that? Dun, dun, dun. All right, next. Hmm.
Yeah, let's do a lighter one here. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that one. keep building up. Let's do that. Hmm. It's okay to cover up stuff. You don't, you don't have to be, uh, in love with everything and keep it exactly true so i'm going to cover up some of that just because yeah i like that and then i really want to use this up here you know i know i already have it up there but i like that and oops I am getting glue everywhere. This is a pretty color. Let's do... It's not perfect, but I'm going to actually do it way down there. And then I'm going to build a few layers here. you down so that it spans and a little of this yeah let's do this darker color excellent yeah I like that a little shabby looking over there okay so I'll put this down see if I can pull this off without ruining it some of it is wanting to stick. There we go. All right, so there's my second one. First one I did off camera, I showed you that one. And there's this one. There's my little card. I wanna make sure that some of those blues. All right, so this one needs to dry now. Let's see if this other guy dried. Feels like he's dry. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a second and replace this mat. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, um, so I'm going to put down, it's actually freezer paper, so we'll see how that works. But let's go ahead. This is dry enough to trim. So, oh, it's not big. Uh-oh. It's not going to fit in there like that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Is there any personal information over there? No. All right, so I'm going to use scissors to at least start this. And there goes my freezer paper. Okay, and there's another strip. Okay. And so I'm just cleaning these up now because um, it's easier for them to store and I can stack them all up nice and neat and they can I'll have a nice pile of them when I'm done to flip through to decide if I want, um, you know, what colors I want to use. And then these are pretty much all usable if I want to keep going with that color scheme on a smaller scale. All right, so let's see, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Now that will make a beautiful background for all kinds of things. Cool. Um, let's see. So there's one. Let's see how much time do I have into this. Only 24 minutes? Cool. So I'm going to put this cutter away, I guess, since we're not going to need it. And let's see, we got all these pretty blues. 
and some smaller ones. But there's also some other colors over here. Let's take a peek. Um, put this here and this here. Get the blues over here. I still got those some of those blues left, and I think a nice coordinating colors for the blues would either be some green or some oranges and yellows. So I kind of like that idea. And there were a few of them in here, but I think that sandy color there, what's that? That's a blue one. Let's see. Ooh, kind of like that too. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> it's got green. Some... Maybe I'll cut some of them out. Not necessarily, not, well, may not necessarily use them all, but and then look at these. These are just fun. Look at some of the colors and textures. Now see this, I love that yellow and gold. So I'm gonna put that in that pile. Mm -hmm. That's got some pretty, ooh, here's some, some colors. Look at that pretty kitty. Now see, this has got orange and blue. And here's some yellow. All right, so let's go ahead and gonna, still got some of those blues. But let's go ahead and harvest up some of these uh, yellows and oranges real quick. So we have a little something to play with. So I'm gonna keep up with the same idea, um, just squares. Although, you know, I wonder if, these, if this punch will actually punch through this, uh, this awful thin material. I wonder if it would punch. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. Let's just see. <laughs> Not very well. Uh, kind of. Kind of does. Maybe if I had a few of them together. I'm gonna keep it out. We'll see what we can do. Maybe if I have a few large pieces I can cut. Together, huh? There's that yellow-ish. And actually, that window. And what I don't use with the uh, hole punch. Let's see, this will give us three layers. Let's see how that goes. Aha, so it likes the layers, okay. Excellent. So eh, let's play with some circles too. Why not? Circles and stripes or squares, rectangles, whichever. So in this case, when you're looking through your magazines, it's really just looking for color schemes. Um, and playing with with that. I also go through and take out other things and that can that can be another another frugal Friday is how to use your magazine uh, images for artwork because then you can use that artwork in your journals as well or just as mixed media. Pretty yellows. All right, I got enough yellows. Let's see if I can add some. Oh, let's get this blue and orange over here. That blue and orange is awful pretty. So it's kind of got an interesting little shape there. And just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and do that. Yellows, yellows. I do like that, but let's let's pull some of this out. Now I'm thinking with this, I 
if we do like something like this. I'm not going to be able to really see what it means or says, but it still gives us that yellow-orange look. I like it. Yeah. For now. Ooh, let's get that big block right there. That's kind of fun. back out and there's some of those some of our cutoffs and then maybe we'll grab a few extras mm, blue in her jacket is pretty maybe we'll grab some of that ooh look at the blue there I like the blue gray okay so let's yeah, let's grab some of these blues, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, this one's kind of cool because of that jacket. So let's uh, tear that up. Ooh, look at that. It's like, not smoke, it's like oil and water. <laughs> Pretty. Loving it. Let's get some of her jacket. Look at that, it's got some orange in it too. So you know what? I am going to just leave it as is. We're going to play with that. Let's get some of this part of her jacket. Almost got a little green in it, but that's all right. We're going to leave it as is. Let's do this. Get these two smaller pieces. So you can tell I'm not being too careful. I'm just cutting away. Now this has got some nice glues in it. So let's uh, pull some of them out. And then I think that might be it. We'll play around again and see what we can make. Oh, I'll put some of these together. Maybe I'll get some of the blue in circles as well. Sorry if my head keeps getting in the way. I'm trying to hurry. I'm gonna keep this a little bit on the short side. All right, so, oh, that's just, just so pretty. Okay, that's the side. Let's see how this um, paper holds up. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's see, I got those circles. You know, I think I might keep you know, other size hold, size punches. I think I'm going to keep the oranges more in the circle realm. Have them in, peeking in and out. Oops. In and out of the blue squares and whatnot. Kind of. That's not perfect. I can always trim them. So I'm not going for, per for perfection here. There we go. Whoop. Come on. And then I still might use some of those pieces. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna keep this the way it is. Let's do uh, like that. All right. Excellent. All right, so I know I have another piece of junk mail in here. I had at least three or four pulled aside. Let's see. I think this is, uh, yes, from my car insurance. So we will use this next. 
since I'm going to be covering both the front and the back anyways, um, it'll, it'll make a nice thickness and uh, it won't matter. So I'm going to start by laying down some blue. Get my glue out. And my paintbrush. And here's my card. I'll move these out of the way. I will knock them off. All right, let's see if we can do this quickly here. I'd like to trim the other one with you guys. Actually, I'll probably pause it at some point so I can trim them both, and then we can look at all the final pieces. Let's do, let's throw this one in right now, right off the bat. So some of these circles will definitely be covered up, part of them, but I think it'll be neat to see a few of them peeking out here and there. Got some interesting blues in here. Let's pull these guys out. Ooh, this one's got a pattern and it's got a little orange in it. You know, it doesn't even matter if that bird's upside down or not. You know what? I'm gonna put that up in the corner, kind of in the corner, but here at the top. Am I still in screen? Yes. circle here, orange and yellow. Let's get one of you guys. Let's put this. I think I want this one to go in this far corner. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll, I'll overlap it there. Yeah. I kind of want to go from the center out. Oops, there's a lot more. I'm just trying to be careful not to tear anything as I go. Oh, here's some, ooh, see now she's got orange on that side. And that coat, her coat on that side. Hmm. I think I might throw that in. I think I might. A little bit off of uh, the plan, but you know what? Art can be like that. So let's just throw that in. Ooh, here's some of that coat. Yeah, I like that. Let's throw that in there. Very cool. All right, let's see. Move this stuff out of here. Oh, that's right. I still have some of this. Yeah, I'm gonna put that there. So I kind of don't want her hip to show. Not that it, anybody would really necessarily know what that is, but. Okay, let's do another circle over here. Let's throw in one of these crazy guys. Yeah, I'll put you right down here at the bottom. 
Do I see? Yeah, you can see. Okay. I'll put you like right there. Okay, let's get some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. What? Let me tear off just a little. And I'm going to put this one right here. Yes. So one of the things I need to be careful of is I do have a tendency to start overthinking it. And I really just need to put put it down and not think about it so much. <laughs> Don't think about it so much. Just more pretty yellow. Hmm. Oh, here's that one other, ooh, here's that cool piece. Where shall we put that? Maybe in the corner here? Or in the corner here? Not that it really makes a difference, but I think I'm gonna put it in the corner over here. So we'll get this corner all wrapped up. Like that. Let's get some more of this over here. Yeah, I'll take this right up. Hmm. Let's get. I think I'm going to put some of this. Up here in this corner. that nifty piece yeah we're not gonna have much of that circle left I'm just realizing I really didn't leave much room for that to peek out but that's all right I can always plant another one I still have a few others so let's see what I can do let's where are my scissors? I think I'm going to cut this one down. Because I believe I want to put that right here. And we do have this very interesting color here. trying to hurry so <laughs> sorry if it's uh, a little wacky all right and I think I'll just use maybe I'll just use another circle you know what I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put a circle right here I kind of upset that I lost that circle and I really did kind of lose it and then I'm gonna put another one right there so if nothing else, it was a place marker for that one. There, kind of like that. Excellent. Let's see, I have some more of this pretty stuff. I'm gonna put that down in this corner. So this is kind of messy work, just to, to warn you. But you know what, it is kind of fun. I, I enjoy getting covered with glue. I think it's a lot of fun. Nice dark piece. Well, that would go in there. Let's straighten you out. Yes, that will go very nicely there. Yeah, I like 
that. Let's see. Still have a little bit of fun colors left to play with. Let's put down a little bit more blue. And then maybe I'll do some covering up of the blue as we go. Excuse me, because I do want to put some more of that orange and yellow down. But I don't want to cover it up quite as much. So, so it does take a little, I guess, planning, you know, a little thought as you go. Or you can think about it before you even start. There it is. Yeah. Let's throw in. I know I got some more blues over here. Look at all these light blues. You know what? Let's do. I really like that one. I'll take a little bit of that off just so that it's not quite so much to trim off later. And let's. Plant that right here. This is where you want to hang out. I just know it. Right there. It is sticky. Uh oh, I might have to cover that up now. So you do have to be a little bit careful because this glue can get sticky, and if it's not all the way dry, it will lift some of the. Uh... Oh, as you can see right there, it can lift some of the. Uh color off so I might I'll go in and fix that we'll find some we'll find something to fix it with um, let's see maybe no I don't want to put another one of those down there hmm, I do want to put it up in this corner though yeah let's do that because then it'll get covered minimally How about we toss that in there? Yeah. And ooh, I do still have oh here we go. Yeah. There's a little piece, a cutoff piece from before. Let's fit that right in. I do like that that pattern on that one. Yeah, we'll cover up a little bit of that circle, but you know what? That's okay. And there's a bubble. Come on. It will wrinkle. It'll be a little bubbles, but you know, it is what it is. Let's keep moving. Will that fit there? Almost. Let's put something underneath it. And then um, I can uh, put that down because I really want that texture. So let's do that and put you right there. And then that way this one, yes, can sit right there. Just like that. Okay. All right, so I got a little spot there to cover. And it also means I am still covering. Oop, I like this one. I like that. Covering up my circle there. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it all the way. And then we'll play with it there to there and let's see what we can do about those colors we still got some yellows some tans um let's see if i have a smaller punch that maybe we can work with let's see Uh, 
my medium sized punch. It's a little paler than everything else, but let's see what else we got. Oh, look here. <laughs> so I like this. I think we'll put that one there to cover up the, the little boo boo, right? Since I have more than one, it'll look like it was deliberate. I'll let it come off the page slightly. Okay, and then let's see. Let's put one there. You know what? I'm going to put one there too. I kind of don't like how that little corner is there, so cover it up. Excellent. All right. I have to say, I like this one. It's a little different. All right. So how are we doing on time? 51. All right. So I think what I'll do is let these dry these up real quick, and then I'll bring you back to take a peek at them after they are cut. Yeah, this didn't work right either. I think I'll just stick to the glass mat next time, even if it does shine a little bit, guys. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have them all trimmed down. I have not backed them yet, um, but I, I will, will do that probably off camera. So this is the one I, I made right before I started filming, just to kind of get um, a sample to show you. And this is one we did together. And then this is the second one we did together. So got some fun stuff here. I'm really looking forward to uh, playing with these. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do with this Frugal Friday is um, I'm going to save everything that we do so that we can use the things we made uh, for Frugal Friday to build, um, I guess, a Frugal Friday journal. Um, so these are going to go in the pile with the stuff we did last week, which were the leaf impressions with the crayons. And um, we will revisit them when we're ready to use them. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you remember, please give me a thumbs up. That would be great. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and comment. I love to see them. All right. You guys have a good night. Bye.